Joanne. I am. When I'm out in the chamber, I'm Joanne. Okay? I am a community member, right? So, again, raise your hand, and uh, we have a question up front. So, if you could just. Um, so, Jack, Misha, I'll yeah. One of the characters goes, I just don't know what happened. And that kind of struck me. We have a chair about.
right? I grew up in a, in a community where all the adults were responsible for the kids. That's right. And I didn't, I didn't like it at the time. <laughs> I just thought they were nosy neighbors, right? They come out there, they not run off, right? All out the car. What I realized is the power of that, though, right? It's like every adult was responsible for the kids. And you were not going to mess up because Miss Jones was going to tell your mother. That's right. She was going to tell you she's going to tell your mother. That's right. Right? That's right. So you had to straighten up. We need to recreate that, right? We need to create a community where we know if somebody is in distress. Before we started pushing people out of inner northeast, right. the drunks on the street, the people living on the street were community drunks. The community knew that. Uh -huh. The community fed them. The community made sure they were okay. If they were injured, the community got no help. I uh, took them over to the Northeast Health Clinic so that Ms., uh, Dr. Joe would take care of them, right? It's like we knew who was in the neighborhood, and we knew why they were in the condition they were in. We didn't judge them, but we just made sure they were okay, right? Then all of a sudden, big developers come in, right, and we gotta push people out, and people who don't have a lot of resources don't have a lot of power. And so that's what we gotta fix. But in order to create a safe community, it's because you know each other, it's because you're welcoming, it's because you might walk up to somebody who's houseless and say, can I get you a hot cup of tea? Can we talk? Right? Don't walk up saying, what did you do? Why, why are you here? Right? Because, you know, that's not a good opening, right? right. <laughs> you know, um, how's your day going? What's up? Right? What's your hot cup of tea? Let's talk. Do you mind if I talk for a minute? Right? That's how we find out why people are where they are. Right? I live in East Portland. People on the freeway overpass begging for money are all women over 60. It's not rocket science, right? When your rent goes up, 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 and you have a limited income, right? Food and medicine, that's what it gets, right? And we have people daily on the freeway begging for money so that they can uh, buy food and medicine. Yes, sir.